hello everyone today we are going to implement this simple low poly stylized stripe uh, clouds so i have given some simple moment for them as well so we are going to create the model of these clouds and also we are going to import it inside unreal and add the materials and implement it for our top-down game so this is the top-down game we have we had already worked on this rotate camera mechanisms and select characters and moving them around the world so things like that also so yeah let's see how to do the clouds today so this is the uh, top-down template that we you we have been working on so here at the moment we can just zoom out basically move around the map and do some couple of things so also rotate so what i want to do now is and we can select these characters and move them around as well so what i want to do is add in some clouds that match with this style so for that let me go to blender and here so this is just a new file let me delete this one and go to top view and i'll add a plane so this is now in meters i'll scale it up scale it up like 10 meters that means it should be roughly like this and uh, now uh, later on i'm going to use this cloud to implement a fog of war system as well so therefore i want to keep roughly a square shape for the cloud so now let's keep adding some let's add an icosphere we don't really need this much of polygons so let me reduce it okay let me go to the side view and edit mode and let me just do some editing to this We just need some random shape for our cloud that's all and go back to object mode and duplicate some more editing Let me change this to individual origins and rotate a bit and move down. So 
so in this way I continue to fill this area all right so I completed my cloud um, now let me export this as an FPX so cloud X forward and set up export now here meshes clouds let me drag and drop the cloud I just created and make sure to combine meshes there is it otherwise you will get a bunch of different meshes separate meshes that that represent each different ICO sphere I had. So now this is our cloud. It doesn't look good as it is. So let's create a material in cloud. And so yeah, basically I need this to look white. So Okay, I I'll change the blend mode to additive. Yeah, and let's assign cloud and cloud. So this is how it looks now. In here, so now it. To get the fluffy look so we can actually rotate this and scale okay now here we have our clouds oh I forgot to delete that plane and <laughs> that is visible here so now let me go back here we are is that plane okay let me delete that and export again with the same settings then here right click free import right now we don't see that ugly square all right so this is our stylized simple cloud so if we want to give them some simple movement what we can do is we can have some simple cloud system that moves these clouds maybe across the screen like this and after they reach some point we should change their location to somewhere over here and continue to move again so that we can continuously see the clouds moving let me just simply do that till we have a print folder no pp that should have been capital pp we have to have a different name first in order to rename with capital okay now I'll add 
an actor pp clouds maybe not clouds uh, oh yeah clouds fine now uh, here I'll add a couple of cloud meshes some random scales All right, now in the event graph, we can move this. So, so tactile location. So we just need to move it. So get tactile location, and then we need to add something. So. I'll promote this to a variable. I'll call it velocity. So what I want hmm. compile. Let me set what's the direction we have here. Y. Okay. I'll set y to one. Maybe not that fast. Wait, not the cloud blueprint. All right, let's see. Is it gone? Let me set this bit to one and play. So simulate, not play. Let me play. Now you see the clouds are moving. So after they reach a certain point, what's the current location? This one. Okay. Uh, after they reach some certain point, they should go back and start moving again so that I can continuously see. So to implement that, I'll Get tactile location. Promote to variable starting location. And here I check starting location and current location. Location. and compare how far we have been moved so let's get the length no distance if this length is greater than let's promote this also so to a variable i call it max distance if this is true I'll set the location to start location plus no maybe just the start location then we can set this cloud in a place where we don't see so now let me remove these clouds and 
and what's the max direct distance I said let's do something like 20,000 now we see clouds coming so that's a very simple system but you can polish it and use it in your games if you like so I'm gonna stop this episode right here let's wait until some clouds go past this area Okay, you get the idea. So, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.